Hello, my dear students. I hope you're doing well. And today our topic is the origin of religions. In this lesson, you will inquire into the meaning of the word religion, understand different forms of religion, and understand the function of religion. So what is the origin of the word religion? Religion, from the Latin religio, means restraint, or religere, meaning to repeat, to read again, or most likely religionem, to show respect for what is sacred. So after we found out the origin of the word religion, we can define the meaning of religion. So religion is an organized system of beliefs and practices that is leading to a spiritual experience. And now look at the pictures and think, what beliefs and practices do you follow as a Christian? Now, we as Christians, we believe that God is a creator of the world. We believe that Jesus is a son of God. And we believe that God shows himself in three forms. God, the Holy Spirit, and the Son, Jesus Christ. And we practice the baptism, the Holy Communion, and the prayer, of course. So what are the forms of religion? There are monotheistic religions, polytheistic and animistic that are traditional. First, let's find out what is monotheism and what religions are monotheistic. Mono from Greek means one or single and Theos from Greek means God. So monotheistic religions acknowledge the existence of only one God. Christianity, Islam and Judaism are monotheistic religions. All right, so what about polytheism and what religions are called polytheistic? Poly from Greek means many and Theos means God. And people who follow polytheism believe in many gods. The example of polytheistic religion can be Hinduism, ancient Greeks, Egyptians, and Romans. And what is animism and what religions are animistic? From Latin, anima means spirit or soul. People who follow animism believe that every object in the world has a soul. Now look at the picture and try to find out what world religion is animistic. So what is the function of religion? Religion gives meaning and purpose in life. It provides human peace and bonds people. It promotes the major social virtues like truth, honesty, nonviolence, service, love and discipline, and, and religious organizations help feed the poor all over the world. Okay, my students, well done. Thank you for your attention, and I'll see you in class.